Hello, uh, Kim Ware here. I wanted to share a dream that God gave me November 21st, 2004. Um, at the time in our lives, my family, uh, my husband, me, and our five children, uh, we were really struggling because our church was closing. And um, this brought me to a place of just really seeking God about whether or not we should just come out from among them, if you will. And when I say that, I mean like come out of the organized church, stop going to a church, period. Um, I had some friends that were saying that they felt the Lord had told them that the church was apostate, the organized church, as they call it, um, church buildings, church places, um, and that they're apostate and that they shouldn't, we shouldn't be going any longer. So uh, this was going through my mind, and I started praying, and then I had this dream. And the dream... Uh, my husband and I, we knew it was time to go, and so we got the kids and everything. His mom was with us, and uh, we just started going. Uh, we just knew where to go. We were going north, and it was all uphill, and it was very rugged terrain. Um, and we were going, and there was a river the whole time that was kind of there. It was just always alongside of us, and there were puddles, and we'd have to get over those puddles and things, and... Uh, finally, we came to a fork in the road, and when we came to that fork, um, we just made a choice. We we're going to go left. So we started going left, and soon this path turned into a, a, a house. It was an old, large, rickety house. It looked like it was about to fall over. But um, we, st we went inside, and we just started going up the staircase, and we went up the next staircase, and it was like we were all going forward. And I noticed, you know, there were, like, as we went, there were more and more people that were coming up with us. And we had tried to kind of, like, keep ourselves discreet, like, unnoticed for some reason in the dream. And um, at this point, there was no way we could. So we get to the fourth floor. I, for some reason, I turn around and go back, and... Um, uh, I see this woman with two children and she's struggling to get them up the stairs and so I, was, I thought I would help her and she looks at me and she says you know why, why we're all going and I said why she said because we're all believers in Jesus Christ and um, and she had a really big smile on her face and I was and it hit me yeah we're all Christians so why am I trying to hide and you know what what why have, you know people of all races people of all um, cultures, even people that were questionable with the way they dressed and all that. They were all Christians who were all going up together. But we stopped on the fourth floor. Um, and it was because Randy's mother was tired. Um, she was very elderly. Um, and uh, so we stopped. And uh, that was pretty much the end of the dream. And then the Lord gave me the meaning. Like a few days later, I was praying. And he said, um, you know, I'm with you and I'm directing you. And he showed me that the river represented him and life. Um, it's always nearby. And there was never not going to be sustenance in a source of help. Uh, the puddles, they represented trials that we would go through. And uh, even the terrain itself was. Um, but when... Uh, one of the things he showed me, the building, the house, the old rickety house was actually representative of the organized church. Um, it is representative of the church, also the bride, as far as, you know, every believer, whether they go to a church or not, you know, combined. But specifically, the Lord showed me, I I'm, I'm giving you an answer about whether or not you need to, you know, pray about searching for another church to go to or just to bring it all, just stay at home. And he says, stay in church. I want you to continue to assemble with other believers. And I, I need you to trust me on this. And I'm going to take you to a place where you will be fed and you will grow. And that is exactly what God did. The church we he's led us to is absolutely wonderful. Um, there are those who believe that we're supposed to be out of the church and that it's apostate and all that stuff. That's not true. I'm sorry. It's a lie from hell. Because it is so important that we unify together. Now, that doesn't mean that every congregation and every church is good. There are those that are not. Um, there are those that where God is not in them. But there are many where God does, his presence does exist and his spirit is there. So, if you are hearing this, I want to encourage you to pray. 
pray. God will lead you to a, a place where you can worship and learn and grow. He will lead you. There, there's many places out there. As for other things and meanings in the dream, um, uh, I know that uh, us trying to be discreet and, and all that, the Lord showed me that, okay, you have it in your mind that you have understanding about uh about Christianity, about me, that others just don't have. That you know, it's almost like we are special or something, and and we have some kind of special knowledge. And there are a lot of people who think they do have special knowledge that's 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 just not out there. And he was showing me, no, that's not true. A lot of my people are hearing me and hearing the same things that you are hearing. You're not special in that way. Um, his mother, my husband's mother, and us stopping to rest, that was representative of um, giving her time. And I mean, she became ill and she was sick for a while and then she did pass away. Um, and looking back now, I understand better. Um, and we had to stop. And in that place where we had to stop and, and we spent that time taking care of her, um, it did seem kind of stagnant. It seemed like we were having a hard time at that time. But um, we knew that in the dream, we knew that as, you know, as soon as she got rested, that we could continue moving up and moving forward. And now she is with Jesus. Um, and a lot has happened since then. My husband has been physically healed. Um, and I have been healed of so many things. And God has done so many things. And he's done a lot of it through people in church, in the church that I go to. Not They didn't do it. God did it. But he worked through them. And it's, there's, it's vital, it's vital that we um, congregate together. Not only that fellowship, we must be connected to each other and be praying for each other and covering one another in prayer because unity is so important. Unity, unity, unity. I can't tell you how much God has spoken to me about us being united. Um, I think this pretty much sums up what I wanted to share about the dream and this message about leaving or staying in the church. Um, I know there are those who will disagree. And there are those who are not in church and alone and struggling more than they should have to. And um, I just want to encourage you, stay in church or go to church. Pray that God will lead you to the right church. And stay there. That old building's not going to fall down. Okay, it looks rickety. It looks sick in ways it looks messed up but guess what the gates of hell shall not prevail against it okay so we must continue god bless you